take the cap off and you're blowing a lot of smoke out of the oil fill tube, you probably got a bad ring or a bad piston. The engine needs to be pulled out and it needs to be replaced or disassembled and that component needs to be fixed. You probably could refresh this engine, it depends on what it looks like. Okay, smoke is not necessarily an indicator that you might have a problem if you take a sheet of regular white copy paper and you hold it up to the exhaust pipe and you see how it sucks it back like that? That means you have an exhaust valve burnt. You got some serious problems in this motor. That means at least you're going to have cylinder head problems. Go ahead, just crank, crank, crank. Okay, now if you hear your engine cranking and it goes like this. It's got a smooth crank. It's got a spot in there where it goes a little faster. You got a dead cylinder in the engine. It's either going to be a piston ring or it's going to be a cracked piston or it's going to be a burnt valve. Maybe a combination of all three in different cylinders. But the engine needs to turn in a smooth because you see what's happening is there's no resistance put by the compression in that one cylinder so it speeds up on that one. This engine is going to have to be removed and be refreshed or possibly replaced by a used engine or maybe have to have another rebuilt unit installed depending upon the condition of the internals of the engine. That's what this whole section is about is about bringing this engine back up to factory spec. Unfortunately, if you own your Power Stroke diesel truck long enough, you're going to have to do some engine work, okay? Uh, it's just how it goes. I mean, everything has a lifespan, and if you take care of a 7.3, it'll go a very long way. Eventually, the EGT's uh, exhaust gas temperatures will take its toll on an engine, uh, and eventually they just wear out. Uh, it's just sort of how it goes. Uh, doing the things in the longevity module will help extend the life of the vehicle for a very, very long time, but eventually you're going to have to do some engine work to it. One of the reasons that you would replace an engine is a skip in the engine. Uh, you have a dead cylinder, a loss of compression, cracked piston ring, uh, a burnt valve, that sort of thing. But in saying that, one bad fuel injector can make an engine really run poorly. I've had many customers show up with skipping an engine caused by an injector thinking they're going to have to buy a motor. They were just for sure that it needed a motor. And, uh, sir, your engine's fine. Uh, you just need a couple fuel injectors. No, they walk away happy. If you have a skip in the engine uh, where it runs but it's not smoothly, like it shudders, I encourage you to take a good hard look at my fuel injector module. Check out those fuel injectors real good before you go spend money on an engine. Engines are not cheap. Oil burning is another one of those areas that shows that we have an engine that needs to be replaced or refreshed. In this section I talk about refreshing the engine, which is very important. Uh, refreshing an engine is, is something you can do much cheaper than buying a new one, and it doesn't come with the hassles or the, uh, the insecurity of buying a used engine. You, know, you buy a used engine, you don't know what you're getting. I go through a section in here also where I talk about buying a used engine and how to look for one. Because uh, junkyards, you know, they'll take your money and you can install their engine and you might have a lot of trouble getting that money back and that engine turns out not to be as good as you hoped it would. A loss of power can also indicate that you have some internal parts of the engine more and the valves aren't seating correctly, uh, that sort of thing. And I talk about this, but if you have a loss of power and you don't have excessive oil burning, then you need to take a look at the loss of power module. Uh, it's important that you make sure that your problem is an internal problem. And of course if the engine's locked or blown, Hey, it locks up because there's a lack of, of oil at speed. These things have four gallons in them, and they won't run if they have less than two and a half gallons. So uh, it's, you know, it's pretty hard to lock an engine down, but I've seen it, as long as you keep an eye on your oil. And usually it happens in an oil burner engine that they just push too far. In a blown engine, blown engines where it slings the rods and, and, and has a catastrophic failure, and you end up with a block that's not even rebuildable. I mean, it's, it's, it's scrap iron. It's, it makes a real good boat anchor. These are the situations that you run into where you're going to end up putting an engine in the truck. Take a look at it real hard and make absolutely sure that the internal parts of the engine are damaged. Most of the times what happens to a 7.3 is it dies slowly. Man, the rings lose their temper. You might crack one of them. You might have valves that are worn out and whatnot and it's time to rebuild the engine. In this module I will lead you through all of this step by step and, sh and show you exactly how to install and take the engine out of your truck. 
I will show you how to refresh an engine if, you, if the block and crank and whatnot are not torn up too bad. If you need to buy a used engine, I'll show you how to go about doing that. I encourage you to buy this module and check these areas out. If there's anything I can do to help you, please email me on the main website page at AskBell.